Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, UK Visa and Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In this video, we are going to talk about Oxford University exams cancelled after pro-Palestinian protests. Oxford University recently faced significant disruption as pro-Palestinian protests led to the cancellation of end-of-year exams for second-year chemistry students. The incident, which involved demonstrators occupying a key university, building and displaying pro-Palestine flags, underscores the growing wave of student activism related to the Israel-Hamas conflict. This event has sparked a debate on the limits of acceptable protest and the impact on academic activities. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming videos. Without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Oxford University called the action beyond the bounds of acceptable protest, as a group carrying Palestine flags occupied exam schools. Oxford University has been forced to cancel exams after pro-Palestinian protesters stormed a building on campus. The university called off end-of-year exams for 153 second-year chemistry students that were due to take place on Thursday morning. The Telegraph understands it came after six demonstrators stormed the East School building in the university's exam school's complex at around 9 a.m. The protesters hung pro-Palestine flags out of windows, including one saying, all out on Rafa. Thames Valley Police attended the scene, though no arrests were made. One student told Cherwell, an Oxford student newspaper, that a group stayed in the building on High Street, Oxford, overnight on Wednesday. A second group of around 20 people wearing masks and backpacks then later attempted to enter. They said Oxford Action for Palestine, O4P, a grassroots protest group of Oxford University students, shared a post on Instagram saying it needed support outside exam schools. It is not clear if those who disrupted the exams were members of O4P, and the group did not respond to requests for comment from the Telegraph. An Oxford University spokesman said the incident was unacceptable and went further than necessary. The university is disappointed with this morning's occupation of the exam schools and the absolutely unacceptable disruption caused to our students. They said, we are putting into place contingency plans to ensure all students will have the opportunity to sit their examinations with as little disruption as possible. While the university supports the right to peaceful protest within the law and our rules, this action plainly goes beyond the bounds of acceptable protest. Protesters arrested, it comes after 16 pro-Palestinian protesters, from the O4P group were arrested last month, after occupying another building at the university. Thames Valley Police said they arrested demonstrators from the protest group on suspicion of aggravated trespass, with one detained on suspicion of common assault. The demonstrators had entered an administrative building in Oxford's Wellington Square, and hung a banner from the first floor, with a list of seven demands for the university. These included calls for the institution to disclose all finances, divest from Israeli genocide, apartheid, and occupation, and support Palestinian-led rebuilding of education in Gaza. The building where Oxford College heads had been meeting at the time was placed in lockdown. Footage posted on social media by O4P also showed altercations between police officers and students on the road outside. In a statement following the incident, an Oxford University spokesman said it was not a peaceful sit-in but a violent action that included forcibly overpowering the receptionist. It is clear that a faction of students and faculty claiming to represent O4P have not been interested in dialogue in good faith. The spokesman added, Irene Tracy, Oxford's vice chancellor, wrote to staff and students last month, warning that members of the public had expressed feeling fearful or uncomfortable as a result of recent protests. Tents have been erected across the campus for several weeks to host sit-ins in response to the Israel-Hamas war. After large-scale protests at universities caused a ripple effect across the globe, it includes a growing number of encampments at British universities protesting the war in Gaza, including Manchester, Newcastle, Sheffield, Leeds, Warwick, Swansea, Bristol, and University College London. The cancellation of exams at Oxford University following pro-Palestinian protests highlights the intense emotions and contentious debates surrounding the Israel-Hamas conflict within academic institutions. While the university supports the right to peaceful protest, it condemns the recent actions as exceeding acceptable bounds. As Oxford implements contingency plans to reschedule the disrupted exams, the incident raises broader questions about the balance between activism and academic integrity, reflecting a trend seen at universities worldwide. That's all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care.